Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you about uh, transform variable in Unreal Engine. What is transform variable and how we can use it. So let's go to the third person map blueprint. I just uh, create a variable. I name it transform and I just change the type. So transform is a 3D transfer uh, transformation including um, uh, change in our location, rotation and scale. So if I compile and if I open it, you can see location, rotation and scale. It can change three of them. Previously I show you about vector which is represent the location, then rotator which represent the rotation and then the transform. Transform have, transform have extra one feature that is uh, scale. So I just create two more variable location and rotation. Location is vector and rotation is rotator. So if we just use uh, the transform variable, we can have the facility of uh, three feature, both location and rotation variable, we can use it in here. I just uh, create a event begin play and I just add a print screen and I just want to show you that uh, what the transform shows when we start our game in print screen. You can see trans uh, location xyz, rotation xyz and in scale xyz all, uh, all of them are showing. I just delete it and I create a, actor, a spawn actor from class and you can see there is a spawn uh, uh, transform we can split it and we can also uh, I just add a target point here is our target point We just uh, want to use our target point location rotation and each scale. I just uh, selected the target point and create a reference in the third person map. And I just uh, did the actor transform and just add with the spawn actor and add with the billion player. Soon we will add with the one three. I just want to show you that on the billion player. I just add a BB Talet, but uh, we can also use other blueprint. I have uh, Blast, which represent a spare. So it's a cube. I uh, I think I should use uh, the uh, spare. Here is the spare, and I just uh, uh, enable the simulate physics. Compile and save, and I just add the blast. Compile and save. So when we start our game, the spare will show. Here is the spare. Now we just want to add three one. Compile and save. Now, if we press one, the SPR will just uh, spawn. The menu we press one, the many time it spawn like this, and it looks like a funny playroom. Now, if we increase our scale of the target point, it will just automatically add with the with the 5 is still 5 now the uh, ball is also is still 5 5 time larger than previous one the default one and we are pressing the one again and again and it just spawn and spawn it looks awesome
now we can change the location rotation of the uh, target point and it just automatically automatically add with the spawn actor now i just uh, simulate physics on the bp toilet and i add with the spawn actor compile and save and i just uh, move it to here if i press one the box is generating i just decrease the scale i think two is perfect i just rotate it also and when we press one it just spawn so i just uh, add a cube and i think i should uh, make it here I just want to show you how a transform variable works. Uh, I just add a delay, 3 seconds, and I also have the cube reference. And after 3 seconds, I just want to change the cube uh, location, rotation, and scale, both, th both three of them. So set actor transform. And here we add our uh, transform variable, and I change everything a little bit. I made the scale to 3. We can give different scale on XYZ. It doesn't need to be same in all side. I just change the rotation also. And I just also change the location. I need to create the location, copy the location wherever it is. Otherwise it will come to 000. Copy and paste the location and change the location like 300 in here. Compile and save and add the transform to get and add with the new transform. Compile and save. Now if we play, our scale will change but uh, location and rotation will not change because our actor is on static mode. Remember we, our uh, actor should be on movable mode otherwise it will, it don't work. So now play and it changes location, rotation and scale. So this is how you can use transform variable in your game. I hope you understand it. So see you in next tutorial.